everybody. Thanks for joining me on Stars Touch. My name's Gina. So I'm so excited I invented this new thing. Um, it's a video that has all the different frequencies for Lyme, Bartonella, Babesia, Ehrlichia, all these different co-infections that can all be wrapped in a tick bite or even Bartonella. It could be in a different type of insect bite. We call it vectors. And so the good news is that this video is set up with frequencies of Reiki and the right frequencies that will go after that specific thing. So if you have a bite, don't hesitate to contact me. I have a video that you can go ahead and run and, and send those frequencies to you right away to try to kill that before it gets out of your bloodstream. Similar to taking chaga. Chaga is something that if you take it, I talked to the DNR up in the Boundary Waters years ago, and if you have a tick bite or a bite all of a sudden and you're not sure about it, the wait and see approach does not work. Of course, always go to your doctor, but also immediate action. They plunk a piece of chaga right off the birch tree up there. They boiled it in water and then drink that down to help kill that disease before it gets out of the bloodstream into the rest of the body. So I am so passionate about this kind of stuff. And I did make this video. I'm just uh, right now, I would love to have people go ahead and just reach out if you have a new bite. And then from there, at some point, maybe I'll sell it. But for right now, I am just out to help people. Please let me know if you have a bite and you want to go ahead and run that on yourself for a few times. All right, so I'm going to get back to what's going on. We've got the summer solstice. So hallelujah up here in northern uh, Minnesota. We're excited about that. Uh, longest day of the year. We've got uh, Archangel Raphael, the healing deck with Doreen Virtue. What do we need for healing right now as a collective? What kind of things are most of us dealing with that we really need to have help with? All right, so we have the do more research. All right, absolutely. We have to be our own advocates on all these things. There's not enough Lyme docs out there for sure, um, just because it's very, uh, it's one of those things where we've lost a few over the over the last couple of years, Wisconsin and Minnesota with COVID and everything, we've lost a few of our Lyme docs and we didn't have that many to start with. So definitely doing our research on what's going on as far as our health itself. All right. What does it say? Do more research. Healthcare is a partnership between a patient, healer, and God. This card serves as a reminder that it's important to fulfill your role. Don't remain passive. Instead, listen to the divine whispers within your thoughts and feelings, which are the voices of God and Archangel Raphael guiding your steps in the healing process. Trust your feelings and know that you have the rights, you have rights and options. Possible specific meanings. Get a second, third, or fourth opinion. Read the latest studies about the condition. Speak up. Ask your healthcare provider questions. Look for an alternative healer or healthcare facility. Be open-minded about alternative treatments. And there's a prayer. Dear God and Archangel Raphael, thank you for clearly and gently leading me to the information that I need to know for my well-being. Please give me the courage to be assertive as I take charge of my health care needs. Yes, we can sit quietly and meditate and ask, am I doing everything that I can for my health? Is there anything that I need to know? And if you're quiet long enough and sitting still long enough, you might get a message of somebody to contact or a book might fly off of the shelf, the medical medium. A lot of people are dealing with that Epstein-Barr and don't even know it. I mean, it's just valuable information. Can you tell I'm all worked up today? <laughs> okay, we're going to pull another one for our health care. What else can we pull out the health care needs? We need, what do we need? As a collective, what do we need? All right, ask your body for a message. Absolutely. We can ask our body, you know, what's happening? Why do I have a headache? Is there something I can do to help that? Am I hydrated enough? All right, let's see what it says, guys. All right, ask your body. Your body or the body or the body of the person you're inquiring about is having a health issue because it's trying to convey a message. The body is speaking and wants to be heard. You drew this card as a reminder to ask the body part in question. 
what do you want me to know? So if there's something that's hurting, just quiet your mind and ask, you know, what is it that you're trying to tell me? After asking this question, listen to the thoughts, feelings, and visions that occur. Every, every body part has a voice, and if you listen and follow its guidance, health will be restored. But if you disregard the body's message, it will speak increasingly louder in the form of pain, similar to a child having a tantrum to get into attention. Possible meanings. Say I love you to your body daily. Be willing to forgive your body. Ta talk honestly with your body about your fears, your desires, and feelings. Honor your body by treating and feeling it with refer feeding it with reference. Speak about your body and health in positive, optimistic terms. My prayer, dear body, please help me hear your messages. Archangel Raphael, please guide me in honoring and respecting my body's needs. Yes, even just certain foods and stuff. You can all of a sudden go, oh, I don't feel that good. And what did I just eat? Um, it sounds easy, but it's not. We, we just do stuff and then we, we go, oh, what caused that? Well, it could have been something we ate, could have been something we drank, um, over-exercising, under-exercising. Oh, my goodness. All right, I'm not shuffling those again. Those, that's two great messages. I'm going to quiet it down. Send out energy so everyone can ask your body right now what it needs. So I'm just going to send out energy to everyone. Uh, hooking up distant. If you want to receive distant healing, just say yes. Sending it to our bodies, all of our bodies as a whole. Let's go ahead and ask the questions. Yes. And you can write it down. You can kind of write notes so you don't forget to, you know, check what check in after you eat certain foods or whatever. I know I just was talking to one of my clients yesterday and just saying, you know, we can rub our hands together, our own, pull up our own energy, feel that energy in between our hands. And if something hurts, not only can you run a video maybe that I've done, you know, for that extra Reiki energy, you can also send your own as doubly good. There's many times where I'll have my own video on and then also send Reiki to myself with my own energy. So we can double up on it. And it really makes a difference. So if you have something that you have pain in, definitely quiet your mind and send it. I love you guys. I can't wait to see you again tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and uh, sign off for now, but please like, subscribe, and share, and I hope you have a wonderful day.